Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. You guys just cannot know how much I love you. I'm in Los Angeles for work, for meetings about my movies. And I flew in late last night and set my alarm to get up and do Coffee Talk. I don't even have coffee. Um, so for those of you who have been waiting, I'm sorry. I know it's late. But the time difference is killing me. And I don't have coffee. Uh, um... So, this morning I was thinking um, about different things that we've been hearing in the news and things that we go on in our own life. And I was thinking about something that someone told me. Um, and I kept the meme on my phone forever um, because it's so true. A person's behavior never lies. Their behavior never lies. The only lies that start happening in regards to behavior are the lies we start telling ourselves. Um, he's only treating me this way because I'm not loving him enough. He's not feeling the way that I love him enough. He's only treating me this way because things are hard at work and if things were better at work, he would be treating me differently. These are the lies that we start telling ourselves. Behavior from somebody never lies. The way somebody feels about you will come out in the way they treat you. That is the bottom line. If you find that you have to start telling lies to excuse someone's behavior, you gotta stop, collaborate, and listen. You have to move on. I had a girlfriend and Nothing that she did to me, right? She was always good to me. But the way she treated other people was always so morally casual. My friend, my friend Ashley taught me that phrase, morally casual, right? People would say, how are you friends with that girl? She X, Y, and Z, or she A, B, C, and I would always find a way to excuse it. Um, well, she only did that to so-and-so because so-and-so did blah, blah, blah. I was constantly making excuses for her behavior. And I realized at the end of our friendship, uh, when she finally did it to me, because let's be honest, they always do. Behavior never lies. Who someone is, is who someone is, is who someone is. Unless you know that they are wholeheartedly putting the work into changing who they are, who they are is who they are. And I don't mean that they post a couple of, couple of inspirational Facebook posts and go like, I, you know, pour into you and you pour into me and like, this is real and you're my bestie. I'm not talking about that nonsense. I'm talking about someone who is committed to righting the wrongs in their life, like really making things right. If they're not putting the work in, behavior doesn't lie. If you think you will not be subjected to it, you are out of your mind. And the truth is this, why as people would we always rather try to lie over morally casual behavior than admit that the people in our lives, sometimes ourselves, are just not doing the right thing? It is easier to try to create lies that we are comfortable believing than just to say, yeah, I don't know why she's displaying that morally casual behavior, but I should probably look into it. Instead, we start making excuses. We start making up lies. We have to stop it and hold people accountable because people can't change until they understand that there are repercussions for their actions. The same thing with us. I had to finally be like, ooh, Jamie, you got to drop this shit show because you're going to alienate everybody that you love. Nobody is going to want to be around you if you don't actually try to put the work in. Forget what being morally casual or flat out crappy, to be honest with you, was doing to me. It was killing me inside the way I was treating people. It was making me feel awful. And the lack of accountability, I was so tired of running for my behavior. What me, I was like shaggy, 
What me, but I caught you in the shower. What me, but I saw you on the sofa. What me, I was like a cross between Shaggy and Eddie Murphy from the 80s. It was awful. Um, so I say this to you right now. If you are dealing with somebody in your life or yourself who treats people a certain way or is just morally casual or has a trail of dead bodies behind them. Every friend they've ever had has been hurt or every girlfriend or wife they've ever been with has ended up you know, with a broken heart or she's the crazy one, right? Um, typically these people who don't have accountability tend to be very good at convincing the world that the bodies that they've left behind are deserving of the treatment. Um, this friend that I had for a decade, um, everybody that wasn't friends with her anymore, she had such believable reasons as to why she did them dirty. And it was like, I knew better, but I just started lying to myself. Well, she didn't do it to me. She never treated me that way. So I'm going to be her friend because I'm ride or die. Meanwhile, like I, I literally, there were so many red flags coming at me. I was like, whoosh, I was like a, I was like a, a Super Mario game. Whoosh, red flag, whoosh, red flag, just ducking, just ducking red flags. And finally I got hit with one right in the face. And when it happened, everyone around me kind of went, uh, yeah, you've been lying for her behavior for so long. How did you not think eventually she was gonna do it to you? And I was like, I don't know. Um, behavior doesn't lie. Um, all right, I'm off to find some coffee. Wish me luck today. And to those of you who pre-ordered my book, thank you so much. I think we were 179 yesterday in the Amazon ranking. If you guys keep pre-ordering, and we break the top 100, I swear, I'm gonna like, I don't care where I am in LA, I'm gonna get down, boogie down, freak out. Um, if you it would consider maybe, I don't know, pre-ordering it for a friend and mailing it as a surprise or starting a book club, I would so appreciate it. Um, you can go to njbell, njbelle.com um, to, to order. Um, thank you guys so much. I love you so much today. Have a great day.